a third into it. <laughs> that. <laughs> so try to keep fresh. <laughs> yes. Woo. Ang Lee, what a privilege it is to sit down with you and have you on Sunrise. <laughs> in, this, is my, yeah. in this film, I I saw not only just 3D, but a kind of clarity that I've never seen before. I felt like I spent the, the evening with Will Smith in the cinema with <laughs> me. As the director, How? what are the challenges of shooting in 120 frames per second where you see not only every nuance of their performance, but like every detail of the set and everything? Well, because the... Uh the difference in detail, we process it differently in our, mm. in our mind. And it's, it's just a new thing to us yet. Mm. So to, to me, it's, um, we still don't know what it is yet. Yeah. <laughs> I was just hoping I strike luck or if I'm <laughs> unlucky, uh, whatever. But it's oh. fascinating. Mm. Each time you have a new uh, media, it forces you to reconsider how we perceive things. Uh, Does it mean that everything, I know that some of the actors couldn't really wear makeup because you would see it in ultra high definition and even when you're constructing the sets, you, you can't just like pump smoke in the background and hope for the best. You have no. to be much more specific in every aspect of the film. Yes, for a couple of movies mm. I, I, I learned a lot of new, yeah. new tricks and try to find new ways to do it. Some found, some have not found. Mm. I think we were in, a, in the very beginning of this kind of movie. Yeah. That, that's what I see. You're so humble. You're you know, really a master of your craft and pushing the envelope. I know you started with Life of Pi using a lot of this technology and you just keep on being at the forefront of it. But I'm just always so impressed with your humility and uh, how humble you are and as you approach it as a student, right? Is that kind of part of your philosophy as a filmmaker? It's not humble, it's just honest. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's humbling. Sometimes you get cracked, you know, crushed so hard. It's like mm. you have to. Oh, it's so A great. few times I, if I spill out just being fair, not <laughs> not humbling, and then I can be in trouble. It's, <laughs> it's humbling. Like it's humbling. <laughs> <laughs> Movies like this, humans like this. <laughs> now, I heard that the cost of creating Junior Will Smith's 23-year-old kind of avatar cost twice as much as hiring Will Smith. Is that true? That was just my figure of speech when yeah. people ask me, do we need actors anymore? <laughs> 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 if something costs twice <laughs> Will Smith, you must think twice about it. Uh, I, it could be more. Wow. Uh, yeah, it, it's actually more because uh, Will has to reduce it a little bit to, to get in our movie because he, he loved the project. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's very costly. I think the biggest cause is the uncertainty. You don't know mm -hmm. if it'll work or not after you invest so much. Uh, and then you just don't see the end. And, mm -hmm. and that's the biz, big, biggest uh, threat. It's more, it's more than substantial, uh, the substance of money. The unknown factor. When the you unknown added. factor. Yeah. Scientifically, mm -hmm. the first thing you reach is, it's perfect. But when it's perfect, it's like you're 10% there. Ooh, that's so interesting. <laughs> it's perfect, but it's not <laughs> trustworthy to eyes. There's something very strange there. Yeah, how do you capture? It's like, how do you capture the essence of a soul in a digital person? But you did a, such that's, a brilliant... You just try different things. Yeah. Every try is very expensive. <laughs> that's how it is. There's no... You think one day you get it, you know, mm. it, it, uh, the next day you don't know anymore. It's just a come and go so whimsical. It's scary. Wonderful. Well, you did so brilliantly in this. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.